Now let us start applying the Prim's algorithm on this graph. So uh, that is the Prim's algorithm. So let me write it here. We are going to have minimum spanning tree from Prim's algorithm where G is a graph, W is the weight matrix. Weight matrix is the matrix which is giving all the weights and R is the starting vertex. Okay, then we'll do for each vertex you can say for each vertex in the graph, each vertex which is u belonging to the graph g dot v, we can make u dot key is equal to infinity and u dot pi is equal to nil u dot pi is equal to nil. For each vertex in the graph, find u dot key is equal to infinity and u dot pi is equal to nil. From this code, that means for every vertex, we are maintaining a key value and a pi value. We are maintaining a key value and a pi value. A key value and a pi value. Key value, pi value. Key, pi. Key, pi. Key, pi. Again, key and pi again key and pi. So every vertex we are going to maintain a key value and a pi value. Now from the starting vertex, for example here the starting vertex can be A. For the starting vertex which is R dot key, we are going to make it 0. So we are going to make the key value of this starting vertex A is equal to 0. Okay, so see for every vertex we maintain a key as infinity and pi as 0 that we already explained in the procedure for this is infinity 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 and infinity right so this is what we maintained now we are saying q is equal to g dot v that means for this graph create a min heap where q is denoting a priority q or you can say q is denoting a min priority q min priority Q. This min priority Q is it is a Q okay where uh, we store we get the data which is the minimum right so for if you for this graph if you are going to make a min priority Q in that min priority Q the vertex A will be in the top because its key value is 0 right so how can we make it so randomly you can make it like this uh, this is the min priority Q it will be A dot 0 all the other vertices are not having key value as zero so it is b con comma infinity then we'll be having h comma infinity then we'll be having uh, c comma infinity we'll be having i comma infinity we'll be having g comma infinity see i just put in i'm just putting them in any random order right so it doesn't matter how i'm putting them all that matters is what is the root value because in a min priority queue the root will be will always be the minimum so it is f comma infinity then we having e comma infinity right so like this and so on so for each vertex we are going to make a min priority queue after that while this min priority queue is not empty q is not equal to 5 while there's at least one vertex in this min priority queue we are going to do u is equal to extract minimum value from this queue if you are going to extract the minimum value, so initially we are going to extract this value which is A, extract the minimum value from this Q. Now for each, for each vertex which belongs to the graph G and that vertex should be adjacent to this vertex U, that means whatever the vertex which we just found out that vertex is A, all the adjacent vertices of A which are B and H, for each vertex, if, if that vertex belongs to this Q, that means that vertex is still present in this Q and and weight of that vertex from this vertex is uh, less than uh, the key value of that vertex that is V dot key. V dot key that means what I am that means what we are saying is for example the vertices which are adjacent to A they are B and H. 
the key uh, the b and h vertices belong to this graph yes because we have not extracted them till now and the key value of these vertices are infinity and infinity now the weight from a to b is 4 this 4 is less than infinity in the same way weight from a to h is 8 and h is less than infinity that means if there is a weight which is less than the already known key value then we are going to update these vertices then we are going to see that the parent value parent of these vertices that v dot pi is equal to u for example that means the parent of b will become a and the parent of h will become a and we are going to do v dot key is equal to weight from u comma v that means we are going to find we are going to do this that the parent of we updated the parent of these keys as well as we also updated the pi values of these that means the pi value of see pi is a parent so key values of these vertices key value of vertex h will become now 8 and the key value of vertex b will become uh, 4 again if this vertex uh, key value of vertex 8 uh, h is 8 and vertex uh, b is 4 therefore there will be changes in the min heap now this min heap will look something like this we'll be having vertex b with the key value 4 and then we'll be having vertex h with the key value 8 or uh, you can say see uh, if we are going to extract this and see th all that matters is I, i'm not creating this min heap properly uh, because here the h is in the right hand side so maybe this h will come like this h comma 8 and here something will come maybe e or something so something will come like this right so all that matters is the minimum root node will be containing the minimum value which is b comma 4 okay and this b comma 4 value is actually present uh, in this tree that means now next time uh, after using executing this code next time when we go to the while loop it will say this it is not empty and now we are going to extract the minimum value so next time we are going to extract b so that means we have connected this a to b right after that from, from this complete procedure we can uh, uh, we can find out the what is the cost of minimum what is the minimum cost spanning tree okay and you can clearly see it is very simple there is no difficulty in this all what we are doing is we are just following the same simple procedure that means from a to b we are finding what is the minimum then from the all the vertices which are going out of a and b find the vertices which is having the minimum weight so from a to h there is a minimum weight and b to c there is a minimum weight so we are choosing assume b to c so this is what is having the minimum weight then from all the vertices which are going out from a b and c from these three vertices find the vertex with the minimum weight so this is this uh, so this edge is uh, having the minimum weight see find the edge with the minimum weight that uh, what should i should that what i should say from all these four vertices find the edge which is having the minimum weight so this is the edge which is having the minimum weight then again find the edge which is having the minimum weight so this is the edge which is having the minimum weight find the edge which is having the minimum weight so this is the edge which is having the minimum weight again find the edge which is having the minimum weight now here this is the edge with the minimum weight but the problem is it will create a cycle so we will not include this one next find the edge which is having the minimum weight now this and this both are having the minimum weight but we cannot include this because it will create a cycle so we are going to include this edge again find the edge with the minimum weight so this is this one so we connected all the vertices with the minimum number of edges that will be n minus 1 if there are n vertices we are going to connect with the n minus 1 edges exactly Okay, so this is uh, how the Prince algorithm is working. Now, you can find what is the time complexity of Prince algorithm. If there are n vertices, then this loop will run n times. Or better is we should say in terms of number of edges and number of vertices. If assume there are v vertices and e edges. So this loop will run order of v times. Now this will run order of 1. Now this main priority, creating this priority queue for every vertex is order of v times this loop will run order of v times and every time we are going to extract the minimum value it will run order of log uh, v and for each vertex which is adjacent to you uh, in worst case you can have some vertices which are adjacent to the same vertex right so uh, that that uh, vertex will take some time okay just identify for this loop what is the amount of time we can take for each vertex v which is adjacent to this vertex u now in the worst case scenario every vertex will be adjacent to a particular vertex right that is the case when we have a complete graph so in the worst case scenario if every vertex is adjacent so it is order of v times again this loop will be an order of v times okay and 
then will be ha having this and this will take order of one time so in all if i add all these what is the amount of time uh, what what will the time taken by this complete algorithm so we can have uh, see for every vertex which is adjacent uh, yes 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 okay so this can run order of v plus order of 1 plus order of v plus uh, this will an order of v so because of this order of v every time we are going to extract them so it is order of uh, v log v plus if you are going to run this loop inside this one then so because of that it will become order of v square log v okay order of v square log v but in the worst case scenario uh, this is order of v square log v and we know uh, that number of edges number of edges in the worst case scenario is uh, order of v square right so you can clearly see if we have a graph with the uh, n vertices then in worst case we can have order of n uh, into n minus 1 by 2 uh, edges which is equal to n square order of n square edges so we can see you can write it as order of e log v is the time complexity of this loop order of e log v is the time complexity of prim cell algorithm okay so there are different uh, you know different implementations of prim cell algorithms are also possible for example instead of using them in heap we can uh, either uh, use to sort this complete edges or we can use the other uh, fibonacci heaps and so on there are different options which are available now there is one more way of solving this complete graph and uh, let me tell you that uh, but we are not going to use it in the actual practical implementation because that generally takes a lot of time but it is good enough for college examination that is why i am going to explain it you can skip this part go to the next video or you can continue watching this one okay so the number of vertices we have a b c d e f g h so we have a b c d e f g h so we have these vertices okay now for every vertex we are going to maintain a key value and the parent value key parent key parent key parent key parent key parent for the what for initially uh, the key and the parent value of every vertex will be infinity in the initial implementation which you already seen and the parent value will be nil like this now remember what we have done in the algorithm we start we cho have chosen a vertex which is having the minimum uh, the starting vertex so for the starting vertex we create a key value as zero okay so that means we are starting from this vertex now after that for all the vertices which are adjacent to the vertex a update the key value and the pi value that is uh, distance and the uh, parent value so a b and h both are adjacent to vertex a so the key value of vertex a will become 4 and the parent will become a and for h the key value will become 8 and the parent will become a for all the other vertices these values will remain same for nil i am writing n to same time now again you can see uh, from these this is having the minimum value so that means we are setting an edge from a to b again find the key value and the parent value for every vertex from b to c uh, the key value is 8 that means i'm going to write something like this 8 and the parent is b from b to d there's no edge still for d it will be infinity and nil okay from b to h there's an edge so the distance is 11 but already known distance is 8 from b to s the distance is 11 already known distance is 8 so 8 is less than 11 so we'll still remain it as 8 as a, 8 comma a and other values will be still infinity and nil okay now you can see we have from uh, either we can choose this one or we can choose this one because both are having the same value so as traditionally because as i'm selecting the same values every time so again i'm doing uh, b to c i'm selecting this one now again update the key value and the parent value for every vertex from c there's a edge to d 
which is having the weight 7 so it will be 7 comma C from C there is an H to F which is having the weight 4 from C there is an H to I which is having the weight E F G H I S there should be I also infinity and nil infinity and nil infinity and nil so from C there is an H to I and the weight should be 2 so 2 comma C and already known distances to other vertices they are for H already known is uh, 7 from sorry 8 from A and nothing else I think yes this is everything we have so other values will be infinity infinity nil and nil again you can clearly see this is for I this is having the minimum weight so we are going to select this one in this step now update the keys update the values for other vertices from I to uh, from I to G we have a weight of 6 I to G we have 6 so parent will be I from C to F C to F already known is 4 comma C from I to H 7 so I to H it is 7 comma I because because 7 is less than 8 so we have updated this one now for E E is not reachable from everyone for D uh, D already known is 7 so it is 7 comma C so other values will be infinity and nil and from all these the minimum value is like this this is F which is having the minimum value so we'll select this one and again uh, you can update these values from F uh, from F now F to G is distance to 2 comma F now uh, F to E from F to E the distance is 10 for this 10 comma uh, 10 comma um, f parent is f for d the distance is 7 comma c for uh, uh, f done h for h h h h the distance is 7 comma or is it from g we have already we already know g na? so we already explored you know we have not explored till now so for h it is 7 comma i and other values are infinity and nil so this is already done right so these are the values which you have now from all these values you can clearly see this is the minimum value so we'll select this vertex and again we'll follow the same procedure from this you can again you see what is a how we are going through this procedure and this is just good for you know uh, university examination we are not going to use in, in this in the, any competitive examination because it is going to waste a lot of space okay now let us look at the next algorithm which is the Kruskal's algorithm